Welcome everyone, a quick tutorial on how to transfer screenshots, photos and all that good stuff from your Nintendo Switch to your Mac. So the first step is on the Switch, head over to System Settings here. You want to scroll down until you see Data Management. Scroll down to the bottom and you see uh, Manage Screenshots and Videos, tap on this one. And then you see here, Copy to PC via USB Connection. Tap on this, just give it a little bit. And eventually you're going to see here, connect your Nintendo Switch console to your PC using USB cable. So you just need to plug in your Nintendo Switch to your Mac. So I'm just going to do that right now. Just get that USB cable, just plug in your Switch to your Mac, just like that. And you can see your console is now connected to your PC. So the next step is on your Mac, you're going to head over to the uh, this link in the description. It'll bring to the Android file transfer. Just click on the green download now, download it, set it up onto your device. Then you just want to go to the applications. You just want to find the Android file transfer. Right click on it, open. And you're going to see here, open. Just click on the open. And you see connect your Mac, click on get started. And what we're going to see right here is our Nintendo Switch should be recognized. So you're going to see these folders and you're going to see all these pictures. So what we need to do is just drag and drop. So just drag and drop to the desktop. And you can see just like that. This is one of the screenshots from the Nintendo Switch. And when you do the drag and drop, keep in mind you guys that these photos will still stay inside of the Nintendo Switch. So it's not like it's moving, it's just copy and pasting. Now, if you want to move the whole folder, just select the folder, drag it to the desktop, and uh, you can see here, Asphalt 9 Legends, and you can see all the screenshots are available, and they are also copied in the highest quality possible as well. If you have any videos here, they will also show up here as well, and really, that's all there is to it. Once you're done, you just tap on Disconnect, and you're good to go. So hopefully this video did help you out. If it did, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're brand new. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye-bye.